Hi guys, welcome back. Today, for the first time, we are going to talk about our own Exit Automations platform. It's been more than a month we released Exit Automation platform and now it's almost rocking and a lot of people are really, really joining to this platform right now. And in this video, we're going to talk about what this Exit Automation platform has did for this past one month and what is the journey of Exit Automation platform and what are the new things happened to this platform and what are the new things which is going to happen to this platform. All right, so let's get started. So Azure Automation launched last week's first week, I guess. And from then I could see that a lot of people are really, really interacting with the new platform. I mean, a lot of people. You can see that in our dashboard, there are more than 11,000 new visits happened and more than 82% of the visits are actually of the new visitor. So you can see that we have more than 20% of returning visitors, which is really cool to see that people are getting engaged to this new platform and this 80 percentage are new user and which makes sense because this is a new platform and all the users are going to be new to this platform and google analytics is showing very very clearly over here that these are the visits happening at the moment which is pretty cool and the most important thing in this whole platform's monthly launch like i mean a month of this launch is the number of users joined to this platform so we now have more than thousand new students i mean it's new students, everybody is new student to this platform because it's all new, by the way. And we have thousand new users joined in just within one month, which is pretty cool. I mean, these are thousand verified users. So there are many users who are not verified. Maybe they are spams or maybe they didn't really get the email, something like that. Not sure about it. But yes, it makes perfect sense that now people are joining to the new platform and they are getting engaged to learning these new courses as well. I mean, people can now tell that these are the same courses which is available in YouTube and the same course has been brought to this new platform. What is the major difference between both of them? But actually, this platform is now engaging students to learn the courses in a much, much better fashion, which is the most important thing I could see in this particular platform. And let's talk about the new features or improvement happened to this new platform in past one month. I mean, we didn't really made any lot of improvements in terms of the new platforms like cosmetic changes like that, but we have made a lot of tweaks behind the scene in the platform. I mean, we have improved the image uh, quality a bit and then you can see that the page is loading very faster than before. We also made changes to the search functionalities so you can choose the course searching based on the path as well as for the course and it has been improved a lot. And if you go to the learning path, you could have seen that the learning path would also display the other related courses, but now we have removed that. We just focused more towards, if you go to the path, it just shows you the courses instead of showing the whole uh, courses which we were showing earlier, which was kind of confusing. We just saw that it makes a bit more strange to people that whether this course is involved with this learning path or with other learning paths and like that. And now we have refined this whole workflow so that you can learn it more easily. So that is one of the improvements that we have made. Uh, and another improvement that we are still making is in terms of the profiles dashboard. We're also working on the more improved way of interacting with the students like you, which are the things that we are working behind the scene. But in terms of how we are actually operating in this particular platform is huge compared to the YouTube as well as the Udemy itself. What I really mean in here is because now a lot of students are getting engaged to this particular platform, which means there is a high chances that the students are not getting deviated from other areas. Like the suggestions are more towards the testing related here, rather the development or maybe learning a website design or something like that. So because this platform is fully on the automation testing and testing related courses. So you don't really have a distraction with other courses itself, like learning Java or learning C sharp like that, because it's all the testing related courses alone. So there is no distraction in this area as well. So this platform is getting more towards on the distraction free learning experience for the testers. We also have a lot of plans and we are building behind the scene for that. And pretty soon we are gonna be releasing that as well. Next up is the course itself. We have already added more than 25 courses in the platform the day while we launched this platform. And also we have more than six learning path. 
But now we are adding more and more learning path to the platform because now we could see that there are many different ways that the student can get engaged to learn a particular course. So the learning path is something which is going to be more and more helpful for them to learn. So we are actually adding more improvements to the learning path as I already told that we are bringing in new changes to the platform. We are adding that as well. We know there are some pain points regarding that particular functionalities. But yeah, those things are actually coming pretty soon. Well, as that said, I don't really have a lot of things to add in this particular video, but I promise that next time while we talk, we are gonna talk a more detailed way of improvements that we have made in the platform and what are the different ways that you can get engaged to the platform much, much simpler fashion. So that's it guys. That's about me. That's about the Exit Automation platform. Thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you up in our next video. Thank you.